Hi, Sox Centeno, and today we're going to talk about ultrasound stress testing and why it's so critical for ankle injuries, but it's frequently ignored. So you can see here on the lower right, I'm performing a stress test of the ankle. What I'm doing is stressing the ankle ligaments and looking at them with ultrasound to try to get a sense of how they hold up. Makes sense, right? Uh, when we go and walk around or run, we stress those ligaments. And yet, this type of testing is really ignored by the surgical community, despite the fact that we know, it, based on research, that loose ligaments lead to arthritis and obviously can cause pain and extra motion. So if we look at the bottom left there and we see a normal ligament, you can see the normal ligament there uh, and I'm stretching that. This is the ultrasound image that I just took. You can see the fibula on the left, the calcaneus or heel bone on the right. The markers delineate kind of where the ligament is going. And then you can see the CF ligament there. Now this one stretches a little bit, uh, but as you'll see, not as much as the one up top stretches. So uh, the one up on top, you can see some stretching going on there that's much more than the one on the bottom if you compare those side to side. So again, uh, focus on that CF ligament. You can see much more stretching on top than on the bottom. And the top one is a clearly abnormal ligament. It's easy enough to fix. We can inject precisely under ultrasound guidance, platelets if the ligament is not too severe or stem cells if the ligament is more severe. And that will help tighten up the ligament and repair this kind of stretchy ligament damage. And obviously that's going to help the patient because with a stable ankle joint, the patient can do a lot more. So again, I really implore you that if you've got chronic ankle pain, consider ultrasound stress testing. And if your doctor doesn't know how to do it to check for loose ligaments, then that's a problem. Find another doctor. Again, the focus here is trying to get a diagnosis about what's going on that goes beyond the MRI, that goes beyond the five minute exam that you got from the orthopedic surgeon's office to try to get to the heart of the problem. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.